My grandmother used to tell me stories about her life, about growing up in LaGrange, Georgia, and one of the stories that she told me was about her grandmother who had a great deal to do with raising her. Uh, her grandmother, she said, didn't look black that she was Native American, but I never, she never told me which nation, which uh, indigenous nation um, her grandmother was uh, born into. But her grandmother had her own farm, and on that farm she had at least one cow, chickens, she had, you know, she grew vegetables. She said her grandmother would send her out into the wood to gather herbs when they needed to uh, mix their own medicine. And that cow that her grandmother had was one day taken by the neighbors who were white and my grandmother would always get very emotional, very sad, and tear up when she told the story how she, I guess she witnessed the neighbor saying hi with a devilish, mischievous grin and just took the cow, walked off with the cow, never came back. Nobody ever did anything about it. They couldn't do anything about it. And she said that's just how life was for black folks who had their own property back then in LaGrange, Georgia, that if their neighbors, their white neighbors, decided that they wanted something, they just took it. And there were occasions when my grandmother would, you know, I guess she would remember that, and when she dealt with uh, white folks or people she perceived to be white uh, she let them have it <laughs> she didn't take any mess um, because you know she, she grew up having to take the mess um, and I guess she just promised herself that you know there was nothing that she was going to lay down for especially uh, mm. injustice Verse and mind candy for the sunken place. Poetry to heal the heart and the spirit. Time to heal, time to restore, time to evolve. Order on World Stage Press, Amazon, or visit. NikkiBillingsley.com